all safe. As we mentioned earlier, dozens of rescued dogs and cats will get a new shot at life after a big animal delivery, really, to Hillsborough. Joining us in the talk box to tell us more about this rescue is Amanda Geise of Panda Paws Rescue. Thanks for making the time. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> As she was saying, I mean, all day you've been up since 7 this morning, covered with dogs and dog hair and all kinds of happy, cute, amazing little pets. This was quite a feat. How do you pull something like this off? I mean, where do you get the planes from? Wings of Rescue is where the planes come from, and we use 100% Wings of Rescue is 100% volunteer pilots, and they use their own planes. They get them all together to volunteer their time, and we load the planes up with as many animals as we can, and we fly them north. That is amazing. <laughs> what sort of situation are these animals rescued from? The majority of them are taken from high kill shelters. They are going to be euthanized within days, sometimes hours of their pull. Um, so the majority of them, this is their last chance. This is the end for them in order to have a forever life. Otherwise, euthanasia is in their future. We saw in the video that we aired um, a mama dog with her pups. I mean, what happens with all of these animals next? Yes, the mama dog is blueberry, and those are her mini muffins that we're talking about. Um, those are all pending adoption. With all 150 plus cats and dogs that flew up today, all of them, the goal is to get all of them 100% vetted, spayed, and neutered. Right. And once that is taken care of, then they will be looking for their forever home. Are they in bad shape? In a lot of cases, we do animal neglect stories, and right. the animals are often quite sick. Some don't make it. I was curious about the yeah. animals brought in today. Uh, the majority of them are in actually pretty good condition, and good. what they need is just standard vetting, um, vaccinations, that kind of thing, spay and neuter. As soon as that is done, and then they can go find their homes. As far as our rescue, we are a special needs and medically needy only rescue. Um, so we take the fragile this is dogs. Pause. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we take the we take the fragile dogs of the more um, needy dogs. Yeah. And like we had one that flew in today that was used as a bait dog. So the front of her face. I'm sorry, I don't know what's a bait dog. A bait is dog. Like a fighting. It is part Turf. of the fighting ring. Okay. Um, a bait dog is basically what they would do is they sometimes tether, tape their legs together, tie them up, oh, um, gosh. close their mouths. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So to keep it on the little more PG side of things, yep. they do that, and then um, they allow their fighting dogs to use them as uh, practice. That's if I you mean, will. So in a situation where you guys step in and other organizations come together, is this, and it's all volunteers, how, how do you fund this? It's not cheap. I mean, how does this it's work? all public donation, 100%. Wings of Rescue is a 501c3 nonprofit. They are 100% public donation. It costs $1,800, I believe, to fly to load one of those planes today with fuel. So they rely solely on public donation as well. As far as our rescue, we are a 501c3, and we are solely relying on public donation. We don't have any overhead. 100% of every single dollar goes to our animals. And that's how the majority of these rescues work. How? What's your website really quick? Do you mind giving it out to people um, who you know, might want to check out and learn more now about the organization? Yeah, it's pandapawsrescue.org. OK, and I know that we will put a link for some reason, you can't catch that, although it's super easy, which is nice. Uh, also at kgw.com slash the square. Um, I, I want to just ask you finally, if I could, um, where is the best sort of clearinghouse for information for people in the public who want to know what's coming next? The next rescue, how can they get involved? How can they help? Is it through your website? Is there an umbrella website that represents all these organizations? No, but they definitely can contact us and we can get them in touch with, if they saw a dog on the news and they want to know where that specific mm -hmm. dog went, they can feel free to send me an email. I will get them in touch with the mother rescue that did take that dog. Um, or they can always try contacting Wings of Rescue. They're wonderful and super helpful down there. So if anybody has any questions about how to get involved or if they want to fly up certain dogs, they need to contact Wings of Rescue and we'll get in we'll somehow get them all patched together <laughs> thank you very much for making the time and for coming absolutely down. thank I you appreciate for having it. me mm -hmm. my pleasure <laughs> now we're going to switch gears and do a little web watch twitter